and welcome to the Watch Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Brywell alongside Darren Schoenrock and Coach uh, finally underway with the season uh, over in Chattanooga this weekend, able to get a game in the series against Tennessee. But I know uh, for you, uh, baseball, softball, you, did, you guys just want to get the games in early. Well, you just want to learn about your team. And, uh, you know, you see things that you can't see when you enter squad, basically. Different color uniforms and they throw chalk lines down and it's real and the scoreboard's on. and. So you see a different reaction. You see some moments get a little bit too big for guys, and then you see some guys you feel like maybe weren't going to be in the mix, that they uh, they slow things down, and, and they're kind of what you call gamers. So you learn a lot about your roster early in the season. And what we usually find out early in the season, it's the team that uh, can control the defense that usually comes out on top. You had a really good day Saturday, uh, knocked around a couple balls Sunday, and Tennessee was able to take advantage of it. Yeah, we took advantage of their, their – they made three or four errors Saturday, and, and we – exploded every one of them and they were kind of what we call uh, in offensively induced errors you know that's when you do things offensively to, to speed things up for a defense you can you can induce errors and we did that Saturday I think on the offensive side Sunday they did a little bit to us but a couple of them were just routine plays uh, that, that I think will be made as the season goes on I don't think it's personnel decisions or personnel problems I think it's just early season stuff that it'll eventually get cleaned up and and if it does, I think we're going to be okay. Talk about a couple of guys, even though you lost Friday, uh, Corey Chapin had a nice opening day. Yeah, you know, we, we felt like going to the year he's going to be a bat. we got to keep going in the middle of the lineup. He's an energy guy. Uh, he, he, he's able to give a little bit energy, a little bit more when he's on the field. Now now we've, we're rotating defensively from at catching in first base, and, and he's – you know, he's in his senior year and he's never been an everyday guy. He's, he's been a part-timer for three years and so new territory for Corey. We'll see how, the, how he can sustain it, but we're really excited with what he's given us now. Gary and Tubbs a nice weekend as well and then uh, in, in the win on Saturday, uh, Connor Alexander able to, to, to really hold Tennessee down. They made a little run there late, but you were able to jump out to a pretty nice lead. Yeah, I felt like Darian was the it was the best player on the field this weekend. Uh, hands down, you know, they got, they got a Nick Senzel, their third baseman, is potentially in the top five picks in the country. He's going to be a three, two or three, four million dollar guy, and I felt like Darian was a be, was the best player on the field. Not not taking anything away from Nick, but Darian's got all the in, uh, ingredients to do different things. And, and uh, Nick is a phenomenal hitter and has great bat speed, a lot like like the Player of the Year that, that Cincinnati had, like Hap last mm -hmm. year, very similar. Uh, Darian just creates havoc, and, and along with now getting on base and running, now he's hitting the ball in the gap and hitting it out of the ballpark. So he's bringing a lot of things to the table that, that make opposing coaches and notice, and, and we just got to keep him grounded and, and uh, keep him harnessed, and, and he's going to be a great player for us. Coach, now trying to get in some midweek games. Your Tuesday game at Mississippi State was postponed to April 13 due to uh, the, the weather that's coming in, some rain that's happened already. Going to try to get a game Wednesday with Belmont at 4 o'clock. Uh, that could be dicey. Of course, keep up with GoTigersGo.com, mm -hmm. uh, at Memphis Baseball on Twitter, if there are any updates on Wednesday, if you, you have to postpone that game. But Belmont's a team you've seen the last couple of years, home-and-home uh, home with them last year, and they're always a heavy-hitting team. They're big. They're built big offensively, and they, you know, they play that style. They, uh, I think they hit five home runs this weekend. Oh, uh, that they, they play at a park where the wind blows out. It's up on a hill, and and uh, so you know, kind of pitching at the bottom of the strike zone is important. I think maybe, uh, the, and this is a neat thing to do in midweek is not letting uh, letting their guys see a guy for the second or third time. Which our plan going in is to mix and match a lot, and not give anybody any comfortable at bats. If you can take away their comfort in the box. Uh, you, you you can handle them, and now they once they get comfortable and get if they get in very many hitters counts, they'll really do damage. So, but I'm anxious still to see how we play. I, I always say that I'm more concerned about the Tigers and scouting the Tigers, and than I am anybody that we're playing against now. Uh, and that was the thing going into playing Tennessee. I didn't want our guys to be too jacked up for playing Tennessee, and then too excited to play Mississippi State. We're, we're playing the game and we're learning about ourselves and it'll be that way for a few weeks with this team. Then this weekend SIU Edwardsville comes into town, uh, weather should hold out pretty well for that. Looks like it's going to be great and, and uh, you know we were tickled with our the performance of our rotation with the you know I think Colton had some nerves on Friday night, wasn't quite himself when he settled down I, so I, I expect, expect us to stay with the same rotation. I want to see how this is going to unfold for us. 
Uh, we're still mixing and matching some things defensively to, as we learn more. So it yeah. uh, should be a great weekend to learn more. All right, Coach, we'll see you at the ballpark. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, Coach Darren, Show and Rock. I'm Jeff Brightwell with the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network.